Plant-based meat alternatives, or PBMAs, have surged in popularity, promising a heart-healthy option for those looking to reduce meat consumption. But how do these alternatives stack up against traditional meat when it comes to cardiovascular health? Let's dive into the details and explore the heart-healthy debate. PBMAs are highly processed plant-based food products designed to replace meat in the diet. Despite substantial variability in their contents and nutritional profiles, PBMAs generally reflect a heart-healthy dietary pattern. They often contain less saturated fat and cholesterol compared to animal-based meats. However, some PBMAs have high sodium content, which could be a concern for those monitoring their salt intake. The nutritional profiles of PBMAs are diverse, but on average, they tend to be more heart-friendly than their meat counterparts. This variability underscores the importance of reading labels and choosing products wisely. Several studies have shown that PBMAs can improve cardiovascular risk factors. For instance, randomized controlled trials have demonstrated that PBMAs can lower cholesterol levels, a key factor in heart disease prevention. Despite the high sodium content in some products, PBMAs have not been shown to raise blood pressure. This is a significant finding, as high blood pressure is a major risk factor for heart attacks and strokes. The overall heart-healthy profile of PBMAs makes them a promising alternative for those looking to improve their cardiovascular health. While PBMAs offer several cardiovascular benefits, there are also concerns and limitations to consider. One major issue is the lack of long-term research on the health impacts of PBMAs. Most studies have focused on short-term effects, leaving a gap in our understanding of how these products affect long-term cardiovascular health. Additionally, there is little research on the healthfulness of some common components of PBMAs, such as vital wheat gluten, also known as seitan. This lack of data highlights the need for more comprehensive studies to fully understand the implications of consuming PBMAs regularly. Experts have weighed in on the debate, offering valuable insights. Matthew Nagra, North Dakota, from Vancouver, Canada, notes that while PBMAs have grown in popularity, surprisingly little is known about their long-term health impacts. He emphasizes the need for more research to provide clearer guidance. J. David Spence, CM Maryland from Western University, points out that the real measure of a diet's effectiveness is its impact on actual cardiovascular events, such as heart attacks and strokes, rather than just risk factors. Ehud Ur, MB from the University of British Columbia, suggests that replacing red meat with PBMAs is likely a heart-healthy choice, especially for those looking to reduce meat intake. The authors of the review article call for more detailed research to address the gaps in our current understanding. They highlight the need for long-term studies to evaluate the impact of PBMAs on cardiovascular events. Additionally, more research is needed on the healthfulness of specific components of PBMAs, such as vital wheat gluten. As the consumption of PBMAs continues to rise, it is crucial to understand their long-term health implications fully. This will help consumers make informed choices and guide public health recommendations. In summary, while PBMAs offer promising cardiovascular benefits, more research is needed to fully understand their long-term impacts. For those looking to reduce meat intake, PBMAs can be a heart-healthy choice, but it's essential to choose products wisely.